Hello guys, welcome back, it's Adam and today I will be talking about Azure Marketplace and how can you use it in your day-to-day -day work. Stay tuned! In the episode 13, we will be talking about Azure Marketplace. We need to be able to describe Azure Marketplace and its typical usage scenarios. Azure Marketplace is very similar to online shop. Because in online shops, you can select your products that you need, add them to your basket, and simply hit purchase. You can also search for the products that you need. Similar to this example, inside of Azure Marketplace, you search for services. And there are templates for those services provided by Microsoft and other vendors. A single template can provide one or multiple services. So from your perspective, Azure Marketplace is simply Azure Shop, where you purchase Azure services or out-of-the-box solutions that take advantage of Azure services. Inside of the Azure Marketplace, you can find products created by both Microsoft, but also third-party vendors. If your company builds a solution that based on Azure services or very well integrates with them, you can build your own templates and publish them to Azure Marketplace so that your customers can not only find you, but very easily purchase services with a simple click of a button. And the products that you will find within Azure Marketplace might consist of services in all three categories. They might take advantage of infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, but also software as a service. And purchasing products in Azure Marketplace is very simple. You can do it through one of multiple ways. The first way is going on the left hand side, selecting create a resource from the top menu, and this will bring you to Azure Marketplace, where you can find the most popular products. On the left hand side, you can find the categories of the products and you can search for the services that you need. For example, if I type SQL database, I will find SQL database template. As an example, this template provisions two resources, an SQL server and SQL database. And it's a template prepared by Microsoft for developers to very quickly provision SQL databases in Azure. You can also go back and search for example for Oracle. In here, you will find a lot of templates by Oracle company for their database services. So in just a couple of minutes, you can very easily provision Oracle database or maybe Oracle Linux. There's quite few solutions available in Azure Marketplace prepared by major vendors that take advantage of Azure services. Cool thing about Azure Marketplace is that it has baked in billing. That means if you purchase services through this website, if there's a license cost, that license cost will be automatically charged to your Azure account and you will be automatically billed through Microsoft Billing Platform, which is pretty neat because you don't have to go to any external website to purchase licenses if those are needed. Second way of accessing Marketplace is through another website called Azure Marketplace Microsoft.com. On this website, you will find exactly the same products that you will find in Azure portal. For example, by searching for SQL database, I will find the same templates prepared by Microsoft, allowing me to provision resources in Azure by simply pressing few buttons. And it's exactly the same description, exactly same information as in Azure portal. It's just a different interface for the customers to use. And if I would click get it now, I would get a pop-up explaining what I'm about to purchase, hit continue. This process will now take me back to the Azure portal where I need to fill the standard template for this service. We were already using those templates to create other services in previous episodes. That means we already were taking advantage of Azure Marketplace to provision our resources. An interesting fact is if you try to access resources here from the top, by for instance, clicking on load balancers, and then clicking on the add button. This will automatically take you back to Azure Marketplace to the standard template for load balancers. And the same thing goes for the left hand side menu by selecting storage account and hitting on the add button will take you to the standard template from Microsoft from Azure Marketplace. Think of those like a shortcuts so that you can very quickly provision resources without a need to go to the marketplace and search for those specific services. And one more thing that I want to add is that Azure Marketplace is part of something bigger. A bigger thing is called Commercial Marketplace. Currently, there are two commercial marketplaces. One is called Microsoft AppSource and second is called Azure Marketplace. Inside of the AppSource, 
you have products available for multiple Microsoft platforms like Azure, Power BI, Dynamics 365 and Microsoft 365 platform. Whereas in Azure Marketplace, you will only find products available for Azure. But besides the product availability, the other major difference is the users that those portals are targeting. For Azure Marketplace, the key target, the users that should be using this portal are developers and IT professionals who are building their solutions based on Azure services. Whereas for Microsoft App Source, the target are business users. And as always, episode materials are available on my website, so check them out. And that's it. You know what to do. Click on the icon on the side or follow the playlist. If you like my work, support the channel by subscribing, liking and commenting. And see you in the next episode.